everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi! I hope you're having a fantastic day, um, afternoon, evening. Um, this fly that got in it seems to be really enjoying himself. Um, but yeah, um, I am here doing another unboxing. It's that time of the week where we crack open a brand new kit and talk about all the features and details, take a look at some of the, um, you know, things like simple clarity. Um, I also pick little bits of drill trash off of my <laughs> table. Um, but I wanted to give a quick Apollo update for those that are interested. Um, I've been searching for a um, alternative to the raw bones that I've been giving him, not for nutrition wise, but just on the t the days that I don't want to give him another raw bone or like a second raw bone. So I've been looking for like um, a Nyla bone or something like that that'll capture his interest. And I picked up a fish. It looks like a, a fish um, skeleton and it's like salmon flavored and it's like one of those Nyla bones and he is in love with it. And I like did a hallelujah dance cause like, He's just such a chewer, and the, the raw bones seem to be the only thing that really would keep him engaged. Um, and I finally found something that I think I'll be able to give him without having to spend so much on the raw bone. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, very excited about that. Anyway, let's let's get to the kit. Let's get to the kit. Um, so, as you can see, I'm sure you might be able to tell if you've watched my previous unboxings or other unboxings on other channels. We're working with the Diamond Art Club kit here. Um, I have some, I have a couple other kits that will be coming in here and there, but I'm kind of on a no buy right now. So going forward, I'm just doing unboxings of what I have left in my stash. I've got, oops, I am so sorry. I have um, this one here and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine kits left to unbox. I think maybe one or two coming, so maybe somewhere in the realm of like 12 kits from the time you're seeing this. And of course that could change. I might have made another purchase, who knows. Um, but only one of them is not a Diamond Art Club. So just keep that in mind. You're probably gonna see a string of Diamond Art Club unboxings on the channel um, over the course of the next few weeks, even couple of months, to be honest. Um, however, if something does strike my fancy from another company um, or another brand, I will include that in like a bonus unboxing. So you might see two that week or something like that. I'll try to do that rather than giving you just such a long stretch of Diamond Art Club. Um, be, it just so happens that's what I have the most of, so that's what I have the most of left. So, um, all right, so let's go ahead and crack into this. I'm so excited. I'm super, super excited about this one. Um, Diamond Art Club, you know them, you love them. And today we're talking about, whoop, Witch's Greenhouse by Ivy Dolomore. Wee! Yay! Um, so this is a square drill canvas. You can tell by the um, the symbol here, square diamonds. And then you also have a diamond shaped square. This is a 56 by 71 um, centimeter canvas uh, called Witch's Greenhouse from Ivy Dolomore. So let's go ahead and crack it open. Um, depending on when this goes up, you may have already seen, um, you may have already seen me working on this kit or seen a kitting up of it, um, because this was, this is kind of my decision as far as like my second kit to work on for the drills and chills event that it, that took place or is taking place, um, September through October. I'm thinking, um, once again, I'm not exactly sure when this kit will, this unboxing will go up. So if I get through my first kit for uh, Drills and Chills, um, the other event is um, Festival of Witches, then um, I will be moving into this kit. So just depending on timing, how quickly I finish that other kit, you may see a kitting up or even a whip and chat of this before you actually see the unboxing. I'll try to time it right, um, but just with what I have already scheduled, it might look a little wonky. So. Keep that in mind if if you're seeing this and you're like, wait, I already saw Anthony, you know, work on that kit. I'm doing this before the event starts. So it's just timing stuff can be weird when you're trying to like get events, um, get the starts for events and all that stuff. So anyway, what we have inside is your toolkit uh, sticker and then your canvas, which is going to have a bunch of stuff in it, including your diamonds or your drills. So let's go ahead and start with, I guess, the small sticker. 
just some of that information. 56 by 71 square drill canvas, which is greenhouse by Ivy Dullamore. I love this image. It's so cute. So I'm going to set that aside and then let's talk about the toolkit. Um, there's a couple different toolkits um, in circulation that Diamond Art Club um, offers. It really just depends on, you know, when the batch of um, kits was produced. There's all sorts of different factors. So this is an older toolkit, which means to me that probably this canvas was uh, manufactured or this kit was manufactured a while ago um, before they switched over to those new kits, which is totally fine. You're gonna have everything you need here. Um, in fact, an extra thing. Um, so I guess we'll start with um, the, ba the, the drill pen. Uh-oh, one moment. Oh, that freaked me out. So apparently I'm gonna have to get used to the sound of the nylon bone getting smacked against walls and stuff as he's carrying it. Oh my goodness, my heart's racing. Um, okay, so what we have in our toolkit, we have a single placer diamond painting pen. Um, this is gonna allow you to affix a single drill or a single diamond to your canvas at a time. It's also gonna come with a little comfort grip so you can diamond paint a little bit longer, a little bit more comfortably. And then we also have um, usually two, I'm only seeing the one. Um, yeah, okay, so we just have the one multi-placer. This is going to allow you to place, I believe this is uh, four drills, four diamonds at a single time as opposed to the one. So you have your multi-placer, single placer, and then you also have two pieces of heart wax or pink wax. You're going to um, apply or fix some of the wax inside this diamond painting pen and the inside of the multi-placer, and that's what allows you to pick the diamonds or drills up out of the tray. So you've got those. Speaking of trays, we actually have two trays here, which is actually kind of nice. Typically you only see one. Um, this is what you're going to pour your diamonds or drills into. Give it a shake so they flip si shiny side up, and then you're going to pick them out of these trays um, and affix them to the canvas. So here you could kind of work on two different colors at once if you so choose, since they gave you an extra tray. So there's that. We also have a bunch of baggies. These baggies can be used to store your excess drills as you're diamond painting. You can even pour all of them in here and work out of these baggies, pour out of these because they do have that sealed closure. So you're not just working with a bunch of loose open bags. And then the last thing that we're gonna have is our uh, tweezers. These are um, typically only found, or you, with Diamond Art Club, only found in your square drill canvases. You can use these to actually place your drills. Some people do that. Otherwise, you can use them to make more finite adjustments, tweak some things once you've placed your diamonds onto the canvas. So you have those as well. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the canvas here <clears throat> and get right into it. I need to get out of this habit. Like what I've been doing most recently like to film videos is I get home from work, I'll get Apollo all, all snuggled up or I'll, I'll set up with his dinner. Um, take him for a walk, just kind of get settled for the evening. Um, and then I go get myself some dinner or I'll make dinner and then I eat it. And as soon as I'm done, I'm coming into the craft room to film. But when I have hot food, it makes me all kind of like phlegmy. It just loosens stuff up. So I feel like the past few times I've done that, like I'm clearing my throat during my videos and my apologies. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to um, take the, we took the canvas out of its plastic cover. So here we have our diamonds, or our drills. The other couple things you're going to find in here are step-by-step -step instructions from Diamond Art Club, as well as a thank you code that you can use for a discount on your future purchases. You're also going to have your sticker sheet, um, our larger sticker sheet. So this is going to have your larger image, which is Greenhouse by Ivy Dolomore. 56 by 71 centimeter diamond drills. We have a whopping 58 colors in this kit. That's quite a bit, um, including four Aurora Borealis or AB uh, diamonds, which we'll call out when we get to them. So yeah, lots of colors in this. Really interesting um, theming. It's kind of like, it's got the witchy vibes, but then it's more of a spring kind of garden scene. So it's kind of a nice juxtaposition than what you would typically see from like, your Halloween witchy canvases or kits. So there's that, I'm gonna set that aside. Oh, keep in mind with these stickers, they're individually um, cut. So you can put peel those and put them right on those baggies that we talked about. Or if you have a separate container system, perfect for that. So, 
All right, I'm gonna set the drills aside but we're gonna um, take the canvas. This is a poured glue canvas, meaning the um, adhesive used is a little bit more resilient, a little bit more um, flexible, and it allows you to kind of bend and roll the canvas in ways that you couldn't with other adhesive types. So what I like to do is roll the canvas backwards um, in the opposite direction than you just saw it. That's gonna allow it to lay a little bit more flat. It's gonna encourage it to relax. That way um, we have a nice flat um, canvas to look at for the purposes of this um, unboxing. So there we go, all rolled back. Um, I try not to take a look at it as I'm doing that because I like kind of to surprise myself too with the rendering. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. This is gonna be um, done kind of sideways just for, uh, for the ability to get it in the frame, the camera frame. Oh, look at her shirt. I love the colors there. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, real quick, um, uh, my lighting provides a lot of glare on this um, cover plastic, or plastic cover. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lights so you can see it without the glare. Um, keep in mind, it's going to get pretty dim. And then we'll go back to glare mode so we can get a bright look at the diamonds or the drills. So there it is. We're filming in the evening, so, and you can see my shadow, but there it is without any glare. I'm going to turn that back on and I can kind of do this to eliminate that glare as well. I'm working on some different lighting solutions, so bear with me as I continue to evolve the channel. Um, okay, so um, you've got the kind of the, the main focus here, the witch there. Um, I've heard a lot of people call the like the swishiness like where the magic is happening. If you can see it here, um, it's kind of interesting how they render it, but you can see there's kind of like the, where she's like casting her spell or what have you. There's like the motion of it. Um, and they try to recreate that in the drills and I've heard it called be called the magic, which I think is really kind of cute. So um, there's that, you've got flower pots, flowers in the, uh, foreground and background. It's just a really unique image and I can't wait to see how this works up from a rendering standpoint. Um, but let's take a look at the drills. I'm going to pause this so I can get all the crinkling over with with unpackaging these and then I'll be right back. One moment. Okay, we've got all the drills pulled out. So we're going to go through and call out those DMC colors or DMC codes. Um, and then once we hit uh, an AB drill, I'll go ahead and mention kind of what they are, how they're used. We'll also snip them out of the, the uh, train. That way we can come back through when we're done and identify where those are gonna go in this canvas. So let's go ahead and get started. We've got 934, 433, 3799, two bags of that. 938, two bags of that. 3860, 3371, two bags there. 890, we've got three bags, and that's a really nice kind of forest green. 775, 3861, two bags of 699, 414, and three bags of 310. Not too shabby, that's that's a that's a reasonable amount. Um, I've noticed that a lot of times in Ivy Dillamore's um, kits, it's the blacks mainly used for like outlining as opposed to like the solid background. It really just depends on the image, but here it's definitely used for outlining. Okay, so we've got that. Let me set that aside. Next up, we have 3023, 900, 3830, 700, 452, 720, 141, which is our first AB. Um, so like I said, AB stands for, or you know, is short for Aurora Borealis. It's just a name that, um, that's been given to these drills that have a little bit of an extra iridescence or extra shimmer to them. Um, and that's uh, created using kind of like a film or a coating that's placed over the drills during manufacturing. So you can see they have that iridescent kind of look to them, a little bit of a shimmer shine. So we're gonna set those down here and keep on rolling. We've got 356, 935, 434, 762, 779, 318, 3756, 503, 758, 134, which is our second AB drill, kind of a, a lighter green, almost kind of a mossy green. It's really cool. I'll set that here. 
get rid of these. Okay. 954, 3778, and 317 are gonna round out that string, uh, strand. Strand, <laughs> that string. <coughs> I'm sorry. 742, 133, there's our third 8B, AB, a bright orange. These are really cool AB colors. Okay, there's that. I'll put this aside. All right. 3608, 754, 317, 3841, and 632. Then we've got our last strand. A lot of colors in this kit, which is kind of cool. It's got a little bit of everything, really. 3823, 208, 893, 744, 470, 3609, 312, 823, 703, 334, 550, 939, 741, 741, and 471, oh geez, um, 435, 128, that's our final AB, that nice light pink. Rounding out the rest of these colors, we have 740, 3607, 937, and 702. Wow, a lot of colors. Maybe the most colors I've seen in a Diamond Art Club that I've purchased. There was a lot. And this isn't like a massive canvas either. So you've got a lot condensed on, you know, a relatively kind of average size for Diamond Art Club 56 by 71. So not super huge but not necessarily snack size, quote unquote. So let's go ahead and take a look at where these ABs go. Our first one is going to be 128, and that's number one, and that's that light pink. We're gonna see that a lot here in what I believe are hyd hydrangeas. I, I'm not a botanist by any means, but I'm seeing them mainly here, um, and I think that's pretty much it on this canvas. So I'm gonna place those here. Number two is going to be that orange color, and um, it looks like we're going to have, da -da. we're going to have number two, let's see, number two, where are you? Ah, here we go. So there's a bunch here. It looks like um, in, let me look at the original image. Ah, so it's some of that initial magic is kind of that orangey color and then it transitioned to those transitions to the lighter hues. Um, it's kind of around her arm so it's kind of where the magic is sparking out from her hand. So I'm going to place that there. Oh, is in love with that bone. Number three is 134. That's going to be that green color and I'm seeing that here in all of our greenery and leaves here up here as well. Pretty much anywhere where you're going to see that greenery, it's going to have highlights of this really nice green AB, and there's quite a bit of that. And then 141, and that's number four, that's our last AB. Um, that's going to be in the water here, um, where it's sprinkling down, um, and it looks like maybe um, there's some little stars in the magic that have that four um, kind of um, kind of highlighting. You can see it here. It's just giving this kind of like glisten to everything. I'm also seeing it a little bit here on the windows. Um, it's actually raining in this scene, so you've got kind of the streaks of rain coming down, and it looks like that white AB is going to highlight some of that as well. Really cool. I, there's more up here, so I'm going to put that here. So the focus definitely is drawing you towards the center of this canvas, whereas everything else is kind of a little bit darker um, in tone as well in the image. Um, so it's definitely drawing your attention to that center, um, which makes a lot of sense. And this has been rendered wonderfully. So um, that is Witch's Greenhouse by Ivy Dolomore. Um, so other things that, um, you know, you might see content creators comment on with unboxings, maybe from um, companies or kits that they're not super familiar with or like the sticky test to make sure that the the glue is tacky the uh, drill clarity to make sure that or I'm sorry the symbol clarity to make sure that it's going to be easy to read those symbols or not get confused um, Diamond Art Club has a really tenured re um, reputation for having really clear quality um, symbols not a lot of symbols that are going to confuse you too much um, they're really, really mindful a lot of, of a lot of that stuff. So I've I've mentioned it on the first like few unboxings I've done of Diamond Art Club, but 
I've been just seeing consistency with when it comes to stickiness of canvas, those types of things. Um, really what it comes down to is, you know, how is the rendering going to play in with the, the actual original image? Does it make sense? Um, those types of things. I also like to call out where I might like to provide some enhancements. And right now, I think they did a really good job of bringing that focal focus to the center. So I don't see too much that I personally would do to this as far as like adding metallics or anything like that. I think those little splotches of ABs are going to serve this canvas really well. So I'm not seeing anything off the bat that I would swap or change. Maybe here, um, it looks like in the original image down here in the back, they've rendered those little pinholes where um, the witch has been hanging up her her tools. They've, they've rendered that with individual little black um, squares. I could see myself doing like a black uh, metallic or something to denote like the metal that might, I, I'm not sure, I, or I might just leave it. So yeah, they're not seeing too much here. So um, not fussing with this kit necessarily. I think it looks great. And I'm planning on making this my second kit that I do for Drills and Chills and the Festival of Witches um, in October. So um, hopefully this is going to be popped up as an unboxing um, during the event. Um, if you're seeing it afterwards, like I said, I'm trying to book, you know, get all my kits basically unpackaged and unboxed and filmed because once that's done, I'd like to do a stash video. So I'm like super anxious to do that. And I'm just like, let's unbox everything. Let's get to the stash video because I want to have them all up and hanging so I can show you them flat on the table without just showing you a bunch of boxes. So let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, anything specific to this kit or other kits, um, other kits from Ivy Dullimore. Um, Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, or anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. And we'll see you next time. Happy placing and have a great day. Bye. 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 Bye.